Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse, and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. You hurt my mate. I love you for that. So to make you convincing. Kill me. Don't worry, just a scratch. Shake it off. <laughs> you went flying, mate. Yeah, that's convincing enough. Go on. A plot twist. Last. Adieu, unkind world. Adieu. A tremendous performance. For a moment, I believed you truly had passed on. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? You have brought such depth of meaning to my words, I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honored with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. A metaphorical title, of course. The Ham Sandwich. Ah, you have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Have you perchance found... This is no time for perchances, Lambert. The play, do you have it? I do. Here you are. We're saved, Lambert. Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds. Thank you a million times. Thank you. <laughs> His head bosom is already working. Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands. Hark. Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk, and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve when the infinite dark blanket that is death falls softly upon our still beating corpse? That reminds me of another one. A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our this... happy 
This is rubbish. Which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. It was rubbish. Yeah, th that was absolutely rubbish. The ham sandwich, not a very good uh, play. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid so, to the dweller. What shall you do now? I believe Samuel awaits you Any at the time to express on the horizon? that very sentence. I rather think not. My powers of reasoning and deduction. Oh, so we're going back to the road to rule. Okay. That's nice. There are still more quests to do, right? Change spell. You've a new type of gauntlet available. Excellent choice of gauntlet. Three more quests. That is one of them. Uh, the other must be... Oh. Hmm. And we have that. Let's go to this one then. No, 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 no. Come on. What am I doing behind there? No. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall. Today, we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now, we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man. The son of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as... The hero of Bright Wall. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. And that is? As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Bright Wall to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. Yes, I promise that. I will. Very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day 
not just as our hero, but as our king. That's nice. You do. Kill your too much like Satisfy your drink. food cravings here. See, do you any... Buzz for your face? Well, you don't have anything new, do you? It's the same stuff. Now, how do we get to the chicken track? Thing. I actually can buy it. Oh, yeah, we don't. Okay, we can afford it. That one is not for sale. How are we doing over here? Not for sale. We need about 1000 more. So 10 minutes or something. Then we need to repair it. That might be the tricky part. convinced us to keep the chickens thank you for what you did though i will say it was a strain on our marriage for a little that it was i didn't want to let the birds out and she said chickens weren't meant to be cooped up of course i said the definition of coop is a place you keep chickens finally we came up with a compromise that worked for both of us and more importantly made the chickens happy it turned it into a racetrack them run free but we let them do the next best thing run races first of its kind though i expect it will catch on <laughs> gives the chickens an outlet for their aggression and allows us to maintain security and control. Would you like to bet on the next race? It's very simple. A speak to Horace by the track. Okay. All profits go to... Well, <laughs> mostly they go to buying more feed. They're voracious eaters. Um, let's do a save. Track record, fastest time, 24 seconds by Mr. Cluckles. Biggest win is uh, 570 gold by Two Weeks Timmy. Two Wings Timmy. Mr. Cluckles is uh, quite a winner. So what's my rewards for doing this? Mr. Cluckles comes from a long line of chickens who, with their natural combination of stamina, agility and showmanship, were virtually born to race. However, since chicken racing was only invented recently, these traits went completely unnoticed, and instead, they were mostly just eaten. <laughs> okay. Mostly Slow Joe's name is deceptive. He's actually slow nearly all the time, and prefers to be called William. All right, so he wants to be called Mostly Slow William. Two wings, Timmy's secret weapons are his two wings. The advantage they give him over other chickens accounts for his performance relative to theirs, which is essentially comparable. At last. 
This enigmatic bird is also known as he who kicks people, Korn's worst nightmare, and the hero chaser. The feathered avenger has many names, but only one speed, fast. Unless he's having an off day, in which case he's two speeds. But the second is nearly as fast as the first, so you'd hardly notice. Calm, imposing, and dignified. The colonel is the gentleman of the course. If there were a door on the track, he would open it for the ladies. And if he wore a garment with sleeves, he would not wipe his nose on them, if he had a nose. All right, well, I think we should go with Mr. Cluckles. I don't know how much. How about a hundred? And start. And they're off! That's Mr. Cruggles built to race and racing in the first. That's the Colonel trailing the pack. He cannot be happy with this. Mostly slow Joe, no trails. Well, everyone. The speed of the Oh, it's a close one. Just astounded. No. Final result. Avenger wins. I don't know them losing. What I object to is them taking my bet on a chicken who wasn't even running. That Oris is an odd sort. And I caught him chatting up my wife. But he is the best club caster in Albion. I don't think we can get actually any reward from this. I mean, apart from winning money. At the same time, we need money. We don't get a silver key for doing this or something. Then it's not really that interesting. Unless we need to win. What if we need to win to get it done? <laughs> well, let me Google that. Can it can it be completed? Is there discussion among the judges? No, Avenger is the winner. That Oris is an odd sort. And I caught him chatting up my wife. But he is the best cut caster in Albion. Yeah, it can't be completed. It's just repeatable, um, more like an activity. Right, then we have uh, this one then. Let me 
Wait, actually, we have stuff to sell. But I like that they don't close and everything like in the second game because that was just annoying. Nice touch, but still annoying. I just can't come back if you have anything else to sell. I hope I can make a profit on that. I'll buy anything. Well, almost anything. Hmm. I would manage to get some money at least. Do we have enough to buy um, this place now? Yeah, we do. So we could buy that now, or we could save for this one. I think we will save. We will because we get more rent from that house over there. Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. It's all her father's fault. He never stops talking about how there's gold to be found in the caves in Mist Peak Valley. I bet that's where she's gone. Please find her and bring her home, I beg you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can. Yeah, we'll try. So, um, the child is said to be in a cave. There are a few caves around. Two thousand gold. Also looking for a cart. Nothing but that 
worthless hunk of stone. Lovely that is. We get nothing for this job except our fee. There's no fee. We always win. So why don't you save us all some trouble and cut your own head off? <laughs> oh, that's more than I. Wait, I thought we needed to make some people fall in love with us. We're all gonna die eventually. There is a cave here. I don't think we've been in here before. Digger. No. There's a chest behind there. <laughs> and a floating book. famous nor a killer however i've always disliked him and it is my sincere hope that his very inclusion on this list will be seen by prospective romantic partners their parents or future employers and make his life difficult if he didn't want that trouble he shouldn't have sat on my chair I was wondering if there was one here. 